Hello everyone, you're welcome back to my channel. Um, it's good to have you guys back. Thank you everybody for your support, your likes, your thumbnails. I really appreciate you all. I mean, today's tutorial will take you how to make a simple basic body pattern for those that might be needing it. Um, if you look at these, um, I have um, four lines here, or probably five lines. The first one is serving as my shoulder slanting. The second one is my bust point. The uh, the mid one is for the under bust. The other one is waistline. Then the last one is the full length line. So this is the measurement I'm using. This is the measurement I'm using. Shoulder 14 bust, 38 under bust, 34 waist, 34. Then the half length 15.5 blouse length 23 then my hip measurement is gonna be 42 so from shoulder to the bust point that is the way you are going to get your bust line that is the first one then that is the under bust from shoulder to under bust that is the line and from shoulder to the waist some people call it half length some people call it half length half length line some people call it waistline so this is the full length these lines they are very, very essential to direct you on where and when to take your measurement so From this shoulder slanting is 1.5 inch. It can be one inch, it can be two inches, depending on how sloopy the person's shoulder is. So now I'm taking my shoulder measurement, which is 14 divided by two, making seven inches. I'm adding half inch because of the joining. So after that, you are going to mark um, the arm hole measurements. I usually use seven inches. You can also make use of eight depending on the body size. If you are making for a bigger size, you can use eight inches. Because after joining at the end of the day, even though it's not enough, you are still going to trim. But basically, I use seven inches for my arm hole. So after taking the arm hole measurement, now I'm going to take um, my bust measurement on that bust line, which is 38. You are going to divide it by 4. Then you add your 2 inches sewing allowance. You are going to do the same thing on the under bust line, on the waist line. Then on the full length line. On that full length line, you are taking your hip measurements on that line. And the full length line, you are taking your hip measurement. So you are just going to give it arm or curve. If you have your uh, Cough ruler, you can make use of that, but I prefer using freehand. I'm just going to cough that way. If you have your arm or cough, you can make use of that. So that's that. About the arm hole. Then this down part, I don't like it. Um, I don't really like it being straight, so I prefer it when it's cuff. It looks more beautiful when you give it a little cuff. So you measure one inch from that down, then you cuff like this. Instead of leaving it straight, just give it a little cuff. It will come out nice. So 
So now after getting out all this, I'm going to determine the um, where I'm going to insert the dart. So you are using your nipple to nipple measurement, that is bus distance measurement, to determine where you are going to put the dart. So this particular one, I'm making use of 8 inches. The bus to bus um, distance is 8 inches, so divided by 2, making 4 inches. So you are going to mark it on your bust line, under bust line, then the waistline. Some people do have um, 9 inches, some people have 10 inches depending on the size. So whatever you get there, you are going to divide by 2, then you mark this way. So now, I'm trying to connect the three lines together, the three points together. You are not going to take the uh, the dart shape from under boss, you are going to take it on the waistline. I also taking measurement at this down part if I have four inches so that you connect it up to that place so on your waistline now you are going to measure half inch on both sides then you are going to connect it up to your boss point You are not going to go more than that so that you won't end up uh, pressing the bust down. So you also take this. Meanwhile, some people have big bust, so you can actually, instead of making it half, you can equally make it one, one inch because the more you pick up that place, the more puffy this um, bust area will, will be. But I think half inch is usually cool. So now you can determine the, the width of the neck depending on how wide you want it. Then the depth of the neck. I'm making use of 4 inches wide then 7 inches deep. So I'm making this um, a V neck can design any kind of neck you want but within that range that you measured 7 to 4 inches so that is the front bodies so now to get the back all you need to do is um place on the remaining pattern paper then mark out 2 inches for the zip, uh, the zip allowance at the back Then remember I always say back is higher than the front with 1.5 inch. It's not as if maybe if you make it equal, you're not going to get what you're looking for, but it is more professional when you make the back higher than the front. It's more professional. And I think that is the way it should be, except you are making an off shoulder dress that you know you're still going to trim off, so you don't necessarily have to have that. 1.5 inch on that part then this side just determine how deep you want the back neck to be it can be two three four or five inches depending on how deep you want it i'm just speaking mine from this point picking mine from that point then you are going to trace it out So this is what you're having after cutting out. So the back is actually going to look like this after joining. Do you see that? This is what it's going to look like. You just pick it up, join like this, then naturally this front body will, will fold it back and it will be like that. So now to get the back that, let me just mark these two inches to indicate that, okay, that is for the zip allowance. I'm 
trying to connect that together that is the zip allowance so now what i measured to get the front that was four inches you are going to measure the same thing here four inches four inches out through then you know the dart started from that waistline so you are going to let me place the um sorry your dart doesn't necessarily have to stop anywhere you can if you like you can pick it from that down up to the upper part then if you know you don't want to do that just measure five inches from the shoulder downward then you stop there for the back dart so now you mark waistline yeah waistline That is the waistline and measure the four inches again so that is where you are going to measure where to insert the, the dart so half inch half inch that is for the back dart the purpose of this dart is to avoid bumps at the back if you leave it straight flat like that at the end of the day by the time you saw fixing your zip you might experience some bumps at the back so after taking this dart, the clothes with uh we look uh will be a little bit slopey at the back because of the slope at the back. So that is that body basic body pattern. Thank you very much everybody for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos.